that's what I told him. I said, no, dad, you can still text me all you want. Just easy with all the eggplant emojis. Hey, everybody, come if I egg. Just making a video for you here, going over some of my favorite PC pickups of the year. It's the end of January, so doing my 2017 review. Ah, so, going over some of the items I picked up. I like the Yankees, uh, you know, more than the Mets. But I still like to carry on the tradition of hot young Mets to uh, invest in. So we got Mr. Lenny Dykstra. I still think he's going to turn out Greg Jeffries, which my aunt told me to buy up all the Greg Jeffries I could in 89, 90, and 91 because I was going to be able to put myself through college with my Greg Jeffries, uh, Mr. David Wright, and uh, TJ Rivera, like uh, TJ Perkins from WWE, cruiserweight division. Any wad. Just making a video showing some of the autos that I've picked up. I like them. PC or whatever. So let's go through them, shall we? <laughs> All right. So anyway, let's start it off with this Tony Gwynn game use jersey card. Now you might be saying, okay, Tony Gwynn game use jersey, big deal. So what? Big whoop. Want to fight about it? But I don't want to fight about it. I want to show this to you. Because this card is from 1996. And I do believe, congratulations, you have received the very first ever, I think this is the first ever game used jersey card. I think they made them of like Gwyn and Griffey, that's it. But this came out in 96. And my cousin came out in 96. But anyway, uh, I really do believe this is the first ever jersey card. It's got a little stitching little pinstripe on it there but i picked this up if i am wrong tell me i'm wrong in the comments and tell me if you have a card that predates 1996 and is a game used jersey card so it's really a game used jersey really of the late great tony gwynn and i think it's the first game used jersey card ever yet i digress and you know how some cards are worth more to you than they're ever worth book value well, I have a Nathan Haynes Bazooka Blast game use bat card that I would not sell for $20. That is a true story. Back in 2004, I used the last $3 I had to my name to buy this pack of cards. And I was like, well, maybe I'll get a hit. Maybe I'll get an auto and uh, I'll make a lot of money off of it. And I was so super stoked to get this Anaheim Angels Nathan Haynes Bazooka Blast card that I put it in a case and I love it and... This card's got sentimental value worth way more than its book value. So I dig it. You need a few cards like this in your collection, you know, that are worth way more to you than they you would ever get for them. Uh, let's see what else I picked up. Hall of Famer Frank Robinson. Affordable, underrated Hall of Famer. And an on-card autograph from the 90s. Yeah, this card's from like 98. Beautiful on-card autograph of Frank Robinson. I think this cost me a 20, something like that. But um, yeah, awesome, undervalued, Hall of Famer. So that was a good pickup in the year. Uh, also for a, anyway, that's, I ain't going to say it, but personal collection there. That's all I'll say, personal collection. Paul Molitor, he's a Hall of Famer. Got that cool Fleer imprint in it. I don't know if you can see that. That's sweet. Paul Molitor, auto. I opened up a lot of these Fleer greats of the game, and I never, ever got an auto, probably because they're numbered to just 59. But pretty sick Paul Molitor auto. And Prince Fielder. I remember when this card was like $150. He was like the hottest young player in baseball, and this card was like 150 I think I bought it when it was like 25 and I think it's back to 25 now. Uh Guy was a great ball player. He just kind of retired early and signed a lot. Um, but yeah, love Cecil and Prince Fielder. And even um, work with a, a relative of theirs, another fielder. Which, uh, shall remain nameless. Next, <laughs> we got this Bowman Inception. When everyone was trying to get Chris Bryant, uh, I got Brett Phillips for the Astros. Now, a little story about Brett Phillips. He actually plays in the uh, Brewers organization now. And their minor league AAA affiliate is out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. So uh, I like Brett Phillips. 
And I'll attach in the description, this guy has got a very, very uh, distinct laugh. One of those laughs that's really contagious. A lot of people say he goes full pterodactyl when he laughs. So I'll add the link to Brett Phillips laughing. Um, but yeah, it's great. Um, super funny guy. Laughs at his own jokes. Very funny, but so do I. So Brett Phillips, look in the description and click the link. It's like a one-minute video, but it's just awesome. Uh, Anthony Greer. thought that was a misprint. No, uh, Anthony Greer. This what is it, a gold refractor or something, numbered out of 250. Uh, he plays in the Diamondbacks organization, as you can tell. Very shiny, very refractory, just like my TJ Rivera over here. Uh, all these cards will be, well, these showing or going to my card guy. And I think I told you, 82 Tops is one of my very, very favorite card designs. Got this sweet-looking Dave Parker with the old painter's cap on. That I loved in the Pittsburgh Pirates. Just a clean, sweet, on-card auto that totally pops off the card. Super nice card. Shows his entire career there. Go ahead and pause it if you want. Anyway, Dave Barker. Great card. I keep. And then uh, my dad's favorite ball player, old Goldie. Oh, <laughs> Paul Goldschmidt. And then I bought one pack of Update and I got a Goldschmidt piece. So this I pulled out of a pack. This I picked up at my LCS, actually. It's a sticker auto, but it's pretty sweet. It's numbered out of just 25. Got a big piece of patch on it and way less than you would expect to pay for a, you know, MVP caliber type guy. So anyway, hope you enjoyed my 2017 pickups. Uh, my Blu-ray's back here. You can leave me a comment anyway. Go ahead and sub. My number of videos is now creeping up over my number of subs again. But uh, let me know. Do you have a jersey card that's older than this one? Is there a jersey card that came out before this? Do horses wear shoes? I don't know. But uh, check out uh, Brett Phillips doing his laugh. Check out Paul Goldschmidt. And then treat yourself. Go to McDonald's and uh, check out an Egg McMuffin. Because uh, it's a beautiful day. God loves you, and I think you're okay. It come with an egg.